Hello everyone. This video is an overview of FLProg, an embedded programming environment. So, what is FLProg? It is a free desktop virtual or graphical programming environment in Russian. The English version is activated with a license key by a donation of $10 but you can use it for 20 minutes after each program starts. It uses PLC function block diagram or ladder diagram to generate Arduino codes for Arduino boards. It is suitable for embedded applications with different functional blocks. Functional blocks are available for the most popular Arduino external models and you can develop user blocks. User blocks can also be downloaded from the developer's website. The blocks are built around Arduino libraries for these models. FLProg supports the common Arduino boards, including ESP8266 and ESP32. To set up the programming environment, first, download and install Arduino IDE if you don't already have it installed on your computer. Then, download and install the required installation of FLProg for your computer from the link in the description or the portable version without installation. When FLProg is first opened, select Program Settings from the Settings menu. Select the Language tab and English, then click OK. This will allow you to use FLProg in English for 20 minutes. To remove the time limit, select Enter the license key from the Help menu. Send the request number along with your email address when donating to the PayPal account. When you receive the activation key in your email, copy and paste it here and click OK. Now, create a new project for the controller. You can either select Function Block Diagram or Ladder Diagram. I will leave it at Function Block Diagram. The controller type can be selected from here. The controllers are grouped into Arduino, ESP8266, ESP32, and Intel. I will select Arduino, 80 Mega 328, and then Arduino Uno. Information about the Arduino Uno is presented in the description tab. The image tab will show you a picture of the UNO. And then the pins tab lists the UNO pin description. The code template shows where the generated code will be placed. Click OK to select the Arduino UNO. Observe that the selected controller is displayed at the bottom. Clicking on the icon beside it will also display the controller information. The programming environment consists of the main menu at the top, the project window on the left, the tag window you can expand and collapse, the blocks library on the right, and the main program window. In the project window, you can expand the controller tree to assess the controller settings if required, and double-click on them to adjust. Input, output, and variable tags are created from here or from the tag window. Expand the output tag and double-click on Add Output. Let's name it Onboard LED. Select the digital type. Select 13 as the contact number and click OK. On the right-hand side, you can use the integrated blocks library for timers, displays, sensors, and lots more. By double-clicking on the blocks, you can access the explanation page for each block. Drag the generator block into the program window. Double-click on the block in the program window to display its settings window. Select the symmetrical multi-vibrator as the generator type. Then type in 500 milliseconds and click OK. Drag the onboard LED tag into the program. Click on Output Q of the block and drag to connect it to the onboard LED tag. Right-click on Input EN of the generator and select Insert Constant. Select True and click OK. 
Double click on the top left of the program window to name and add a description of the program. From the main menu, click on the check project icon to verify your program. You should see project correct if there is no error. This icon will be red when there is an error, otherwise it will be green. Click on this icon to view the Arduino code for the project. You can also open the Arduino IDE sketch. Clicking on Compile Project will also open the Arduino IDE sketch. You can then go ahead and select the Arduino Uno board from the Tools menu and the port number if not already selected. Then upload the code to the Uno. Close the IDE to return to FL Prog. If you don't want Arduino IDE to open when compiling and uploading the code, select Project Settings from the Settings menu. Select to download to the controller directly. You can also change the controller type from here. When you click on the Compile Project icon, a prompt to select the serial port number will appear. Then click on Download. We will be testing some of the integrated library blocks with the ESP32 board in the coming days. I hope you will stay tuned by subscribing and enabling your notification bell if you have not. See you in the next video.